hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to share it with you guys a haul um my first haul in the new house not my first time grocery shopping but my first time sharing it with you guys so yeah i'm going to share that with you guys so i actually wanted to start with just my meal plan for the week um because i am trying to be strategic with um just grocery shopping especially since everything gets just so expensive i'm trying to be very strategic with my meal planning and grocery shopping so that we don't overspend so these are the meals i have for the week no particular order other than um for sunday dinner so today is saturday and i have meals planned from now through next friday um so first on the list as you can see we have spaghetti then we have the green beans, potatoes, smoked meat, and turkey chops. That's actually what I'm making tomorrow. I still have to get the turkey chops, which I forgot about. Um, also, we're making Alfredo one day this week. Catfish nuggets, broccoli, and mac and cheese. Another day this week, we'll be having pizzas one night. And then another night, we'll be having tuna. Well, my husband and I will have tuna, and the kids will have PB&J. Just an eat. one of those nights where... I don't feel like cooking it'll probably be a night after swim lessons or just don't feel like cooking and that's just a really easy quick meal to make so keep that in mind when you see my grocery haul because i basically have stuff for that so this is an overview of the grocery on our makeshift table here <laughs> all right so starting over here Starting over here, we just have some bread, split top wheat. I actually don't, I usually only get whole wheat, um, but I've been hearing that wheat is not the best for you. So I'm trying to slowly transition back over from wheat bread. So I got split top wheat. Um, then we also got some cinnamon raisin bagels. My husband loves these. Back here, I just got two of these ginger ale. They were like two for a dollar. So I'm really just trying them and they're really good for, you know, upset stomach, whatever. So I try to keep some in the house especially since I'm pregnant and back here I have the two cans of the green beans for tomorrow's dinner I have the peanut butter and jelly for when we make PB&J some sweet relish for um, the tuna because we do like sweet relish in our tuna comment down below if y'all like sweet relish in your tuna <laughs> um, and then add some diced tomatoes just for like when I want Rotel, which I've kind of been craving lately. So I may possibly make some Rotel this week as well. Three cans of tuna. Um, a bag of avocados, mini avocados. A bag of red grapes. I got um, these Caesar salads. I get these from Walmart. Oh, also we went to Walmart, Save More, and Aldi. This is where all these brush are from. The majority of them are from Aldi and Walmart. So the Caesar salad, I got these from Walmart. I actually got two of them, but I already ate one for lunch. Got some fish seasoning for the catfish nuggets. Lunchable for the kids. I got two of these also, but my son already ate his. And then I got some... Then I also got some of these Bob Evans sour cream and chive potatoes. I usually just get the original ones and I don't get these often, but I'm really just trying to think of like quick meals that I don't have to think too hard about because we still don't have a stove. So we're still working with our air fryer and instant pot and all that stuff. So I'm trying to think of like easier meals and this was one of them. <laughs> so I can just like whip up some um, sauteed chicken or something to eat with this. Super easy, super quick. Um, right here I got some sweet and sour sauce because I, as you'll see I also got some egg rolls that I've been craving. Chicken egg rolls. A thing of vegetable oil to fry the catfish nuggets in. Bag of sour cream and cheddar potato chips. And then here we have some special K, the family size. I like the fruit and yogurt. These are actually my favorite cereal currently. Um, some mini chicken corn dogs for the kids. Some potato puffs or tater tots for the kids as well some fruit fruit and grain mixed berry cereal bars for the kids as well got some mac and cheese this is my daughter's favorite mac and cheese she is obsessed with mac and cheese and this is the only one that she'll actually eat she doesn't like the craft kind she doesn't like any other kind but the great value brand so 
got this. She doesn't even like the baked macaroni and cheese, like the good stuff that we make on Thanksgiving. <laughs> she prefers this one, so got her that. All right, then I also got the chicken egg rolls that I was telling you guys about. I got these from Aldi's. These, they have the best egg rolls to me, personally. Um, I love the chicken egg rolls, so I got that. They come from four of them in the pack. Sorry, y'all, my husband is literally doing the plumbing <laughs> in the bathroom next to me. Um, I have a big bag of broccoli florets for like our Alfredo. I put broccoli in our Alfredo. I put broccoli in just about anything that's our preferred vegetable. And then over here, I didn't get much meat um, because we don't have much room right now because we haven't brought our deep freezer here yet. But I got, these are the catfish nuggets. I got two packs of these. And then I got one pack of chicken breast that I'll um, portion off. I'll probably like package half of this. Yeah, I'll package, this will be two packages. So two servings for two meals. And then a thing of sugar. So that's about all I got. Like I said, we went to Walmart, Aldi, and Save More. Our total was about, I don't know if you guys care about the total. I like to mention, I like to hear people um, speak about their totals just because, like I said, grocery is expensive. And, you know, you got to try to get deals where you can. Um, but our total for all of this was about 120 I believe. About 120 So I just realized I had that zoomed in the entire time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video.